with another round of reviews. Let's take our snacks on the road. Or better yet, let the road come to us. It's this month's snack crate. Let's see where we're headed to this week. Looks like we're headed to Greece. And this is how the Greece snack crate comes. We have a pile of delicious snacks to get to this time. You know how we do it. Quick time. Let's check out snacks from Greece. I always like to start with the savory. And the big bag of chips really catches my attention. It's the jumbo chips. Looks like oregano flavor. This is what the jumbo chip looks like. Kind of looks like our sour cream and onion. Crisp potato chip and oregano. Let's try it. Ooh. That is really nice. Nice and crunchy, not too greasy. Powerful oregano taste. Ron's giving these eight out of 10. More savory. It's the mini pick crackers, sour cream and onion. And this is what the mini pick looks like. No stranger to sour cream and onion here in Canada. I love it. Let's check out this cracker though. Oh, that is flavorful. Nice and crunchy, yet buttery at the same time. It is packed full of sour cream and onion flavor. This is really good, guys. Nine out of 10. Bread six, Crisquinha pesto. This is what the bread stick looks like. Very pesto-y. Let's try it. Oh my God. Nice bread stick. They're nailing flavors because this is packed with pesto. If you guys like pesto on baguettes, you're gonna love these. Crunchy, very flavorful. Ron's giving these an 8.5 out of 10. I think that might be it for the savory. So from savory to pastry, it's the seven days chocolate croissant. This is what the chocolate croissant looks like. I got a feeling this would be something better warmed in the microwave. It's not gonna be like your flaky croissant. Oh, I wonder what it's like if you throw it in the oven. Anyway, let's check it out straight out of the package. Mmm. Kind of more like a brioche, but it is packed full of chocolate. But it's not flaky like your average croissant, but it's definitely good. This is kind of more towards like a packaged donut. Not too bad though, guys. Ron gives the seven days croissant a seven out of 10. Not a pastry, but a cookie. It's the Jamista strawberry. By the way, I'm just taking a guess at all this pronunciation. And this is how the strawberry cookie comes. The smell of strawberry is real. Check out that cream. It's kind of like a strawberry shortcake Oreo. Let's try it. Mmm. Guys, the sandwich cookie here tastes like shortbread. That is awesome. Nice and buttery and light. But that strawberry filling is packed with flavor. Very real strawberry. Delicious biscuit. I really like these guys. I'm on a bit of a strawberry kick. I'm giving the strawberry cookies 10 out of 10. Oh, I love that. Sticking with crunchy kind of cookies. It's the Mirinda crackers. And this is how the cracker comes. I really hope it's like the strawberry cookie. That was delicious. Let's try it. Mmm. Kind of buttery. Kind of has a nice bit of sweetness. Very nice snack. I'd love this with tea. Pretty good. 7.5 out of 10. Very arrowroot-esque. Don't be insulted if we check out some pretzels. It's a pick. Bayonets. And this is what the bayonet looks like. We got sesame seeds. Hits of salt. Sesame seeds. Delicious little breadstick. Let's try it. Oh my god. That is a really good combination. Guys, you get that delicious pretzel salt, but then that roasted sesame comes in. Really adds a lot to this, guys. This is good. Solid snack. 8.5 out of 10. Oh my god. It's a Janus soft nougat. Apple peanut cinnamon. Me and a nougat. Guys, check out that nougat. Nice and soft. You have the peanuts and apples in it. This is gonna be good. This could be love. Oh my god. That sweet, creamy texture. It's more peanut than apple cinnamon, but this is delicious. Kind of like that marshmallow you do get with added textures. Really good, guys. Ron's giving this an 8.5 out of 10. Very nice. And as always, let's get chocolatey. It's the Pavlidius dark chocolate. And this is what it looks like. The smell of this dark chocolate is awesome. Let's try it. Oh, that is delicious. It's not too dark of a chocolate. It still has a nice sweetness but it has that nice snap of like a Lindor. As Europeans nail their chocolate. If you like a darker chocolate, you'd love this. Ron's giving the dark chocolate bar 8.5 out of 10. That is good dark chocolate, guys. Let's continue. It's the Macedonia Hava. And this is what the bar looks like. Well, that's an interesting texture. Let's try it. That is unique. It's almost like a firm cotton candy. It has like a nutty taste and a nice touch of vanilla. 
Almost airy. That is my first time trying anything that even resembles this. I think I'm really down with it. Ron's given the have a an 8 out of 10. And nothing says Europe like hazelnut and wafer. It's the Choco Fritta. That's how it comes. Check out the hazelnuts on top. Nice milk chocolate wafer. Europeans nail their wafers and they nail their hazelnut. Expecting something good here, guys. Let's try it. It's a nice wafer, nice chocolate filling, but these hazelnuts on top, guys, really, really sets off that nice chocolate. Ron's giving the Choco Fritta 8.5 out of 10. I love wafer bars. Let's finish off with like a Mars bar kind of looking candy. It's the Derby Caramel. Well, apparently I take that back right away. Not looking like a Mars bar at all. Looks like we might have some puff rice inside chocolate. So I assume that it's nougat, caramel, puff rice, and chocolate. Let's check out the Derby. Oh my god. Guys, that's not a nougat at all. It's coconut. We have a layer of caramel. It's definitely puff rice. And an awesome chocolate. A very unique chocolate. I love the texture of the coconut center. And you guys know me. I like my puff rice. It's not like bounty center, but it definitely goes towards that. What does Ron think of the Derby Caramel? Guys, I love the coconut. I love the puff rice. I kind of like this. Ron's giving the Derby Caramel. 8.5 out of 10. Delicious little bear. There you go, guys. A quick look at Sack Crate Grease. Definitely some fire items in this one. But my favorite goes to these strawberry cookies. They were absolutely delicious and my pick of the box. Wafers were nice. The savory was really nice. The croissant was more like a donut. But overall, guys, this was a good crate. This has been a quick look at the Snack Crate Grease. It's been another quick round of reviews, another Snack Crate, and see you guys next time.